Genesis 30. Genesis chapter 30. 22 to 24. From verse 22 to 24. And God remembered Rachel. And God can remember Rachel. God is going to remember someone today. God will remember someone to do. And God hearkened to her. And God can listen and can hear her. And God will hearken to somebody today. God will listen and go hear one person to do. And opened her womb. And God can open her belly so that she feel bumpy picking. God will open some wombs here today. God will open some people belly today so they feel bumpy picking today. And she conceived. And she can't get belly. Oh, in the mighty name of Jesus, someone will conceive this month. In the mighty name of Jesus, someone will get belly this month. And bear a son. And he can't born boy picking. And someone is going to bear a son very soon. One person goes soon born boy picking. And said, God has taken away my reproach. And he can't say, God, do not let my shame come off my body. Uh, in the name that's above every other name, the reproach of someone will be gone this month. In Jesus' name, the shame when one person they carry go go this month. And she called his name Joseph. And he can't call the name of that boy picking Joseph. And said, And he can't toss it. The Lord shall add to me another son. And he can't toss it. God go out, join this boy picking and I'll get another boy picking. Somebody is going to have more than one son. One person here go get more than one boy picking. Childbearing. Is spiritual warfare. To bomb picking now spiritual fight be that one. You know, this month we are talking about victorious grace. You know, say for this month I about victorious grace who they talk about. Giving birth to a child is warfare. So bomb picking no now battle be that now fight be that. You don't believe me, all you need to do is ask a woman who has had a child before, they will tell you. If you not believe me, more on ask any woman who not get belay be before and you can't burn the picking, they will tell you. From the time the baby begins to kick in the womb. From the time when the picking can't start to move for the belly. To the time when the baby is about to be born. To the time when the picking won't come out from the belly. The pain, the agony, the pushing. And the pain, the trouble when the woman the pass, the pushing here and there. It is war. Now better fight with that one. And when you read Genesis chapter 3, verse 16, Genesis 3, verse 16. When you go read Genesis chapter 3, verse 16, Genesis 3, verse 16. God himself said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow. God, now I can't say, he go increase the sorrow. In conception and in bringing forth. When person get belly, and to come give birth to the Pekin. And it has been there, I've been so ever since. And it all did there for long. Not only that, Not only that one, no. there have been cases of even people dying while they are giving birth. Some cases they when be say some people when one bomb picking they can't die. Genesis thirty five, verse sixteen to eighteen. Genesis thirty five, sixteen to eighteen. Genesis thirty five, verse sixteen, go reach eighteen. Genesis 35, verse 16, go reach 18. But that will not be your portion in Jesus' name. But that will not go be your own portion in Jesus' name. Because Romans 8.37, Romans 8.37 says... Because Romans 8.37, Romans 8.37, it does say... We are more than conquerors. It says we are more than someone when we say they win battle. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, very soon... In the name of Jesus Christ, very soon... Your song will be... I am more than the conqueror. This song when you go to sing, go go say, I know they more than the person when win battle. Now the devil in particular seems able to guess. The devil himself, oh, he go feel guess, he go feel make guess. When a great child is about to be born. Because when we say get better, as the one born him. Somehow, 
we may not fully understand how. Sometimes we don't even understand how this thing will happen. But it appears when we go through the Bibles that the devil seems to be able to guess. Then if we go through the Bible, we come and say the devil if he may guess when a great child is about to be born. When Piki when get better heads, they won't burn out. And what he does then is that he tries to block the womb. What he go try to do then, no, not to carry a blockage for the person belly of the woman through whom the child is about to be born of that woman when we say the picking won't come out true in genesis chapter 18 we found out that for genesis chapter 18 we can see say somehow the devil knew that a great child called isaac was about to be born the devil can't know say you want better picking when get better when they call isaac in mama go soon born him. and he made sure the mother was barren for a long time. He made sure say this woman was supposed to born this picking called Isaac. Not get better for a long time. In the text we read this morning, Genesis 30 from verse 22 to 24. For the text one we read for Genesis chapter 30, verse 22 to 24. Genesis 30, 22 to 24. Genesis 30. 22 to 24. The devil knew that Joseph was going to be born. The devil can't even know say Joseph will go soon born him. That a great deliverer, not only of his nation, but of practically all the nations of the world, was about to be born. He can't know say one person will be say go deliver a country. Not be even only his country, but all the country for the world, they go soon born him. And he blocked. The womb of the mother for a long time. He can't stop the woman from getting belay for a long time. In Judges chapter 13, from verse 1 to 24, Judges 13, verse 1 to 24. Judges chapter 13, verse 1, go reach 24. Judges chapter 13, verse 1, go reach 24. The devil guessed or realized that a great deliverer by the name of Samson was about to be born. He blocked the womb of the mother for a long time. The devil can't guess. He can't know say one person will go deliver his country. When they call Samson, they go soon burn him. He can't cause the mama of that Samson not to get belay for a long time. In 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 1 to 21. 1 Samuel 1, verse 1 to 21. For 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 1 to 21. 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 1, go reach 21. The devil was aware that a great prophet was about to be born, called Samuel. The devil could not say one great prophet, when they call Samuel, they could soon born him. He blocked the womb of the mother. He can't make the mama of that boy not to get belly for a long time. In Luke chapter 1, verse 1 to 13, Luke 1, verse 1 to 13. For Luke chapter 1, verse 1, go reach 13. Luke chapter 1, verse 1, go reach 13. The devil realized that a great son was about to be born who will be greater than all the sons in the Old Testament. The devil can't no say one boy picking, if mama go give birth to Ram, when go come better pass every other picking went out there for the Old Testament. Called John the Baptist. He named her John the Baptist. He blocked the womb of the mother. He can't stop the mama from getting belly. But in all these cases, and several others. For all these examples we'll not give, and some other ones when we say we'll not fit talk now. God proved to be far, far superior to the devil. God can't show say he big past the devil. He get power past the devil. I believe God. I believe God say that the same God that gave victory to all the people that I've mentioned. The same God when we say Lord give victory. Don't make all those people when we say get one while out the other and they get good results. Will give victory to you also. That same God go can't give you victory also. But the important point here is this. But the thing when we say we need to put for mind be this. In the text that we read. For the Bible verse what we can read. The Bible said God remembered Rachel. The Bible tell us say God can remember Rachel. When you read that passage. You may not see where is grace here. When you read that passage you can wonder say where grace come there for this place. Until you remember who is God? Until you can't remember, say, who be God? The God is the maker of heaven and earth. God that make heaven and earth. But the Bible says unto him, 
that hears prayers, all flesh shall come. The Bible does say, now unto God, oh, when you hear prayer, everybody when get flesh will come meet. Which will tell you that all over the world, people are crying to God. That one will come tell us, say, all over this world, oh, people they cry unto God. Asking him for help. Then they ask God for help. Asking him for the fruit of the womb. Some they ask God, may God make them get better. Asking him for one breakthrough or the other. They ask God, may God give them one breakthrough or the other. And of all the people of the world. For all these people, when they ask him, one thing or the other. This mighty God, this ever busy God. But this our mighty God, this ever busy God, chose he can't choose out of his abundant grace, through a plenty grace, to remember someone. To remember one person. It takes grace. It takes grace so, for God to remember somebody. For God make he can't remember one person. It takes grace. It takes grace. I visited a couple. I can't visit one husband and wife. Not too long ago. You know to say. We have been friends since 1977. I don't know them since 1977. And I visited them last year. And I can't visit them last year. By now, of course, they were old. By now, then you know say they're already old. And the wife was almost crying. And the wife, she won't cry. She said, He can't tell me, say. As busy as you are, as you busy, rich, you remembered us. You physically remember us. As busy as God is, as God busy, rich, you is about to remember someone today. You won't remember one person today. So we're not going to waste time. We're not going to waste any time. We're going to spend time. In prayer, we can spend time to the pray. We're going to say to God, if you are remembering only one person, we can tell God, say, Baba God, if you remember only one person, forgive me, Lord, I'm not being selfish. But if you are remembering only one person today, let it be me. Forgive me, oh, another selfish you. But if you could remember only one person today. Make it be me. That's going to be our prayer this morning. That one will be our prayer this morning. But before we pray, if there's anyone here who has not yet submitted or surrendered his or her life to Jesus. But before we pray, if anybody there here, when I will give your life to Jesus, you come very quickly. Make you confront very quickly. Come and surrender your life to him. Come give your life to Jesus Christ. So that he can hear your prayer. So he can feel hear your prayer. Because the Bible made it abundantly clear. Because the Bible can't make it clear well well. The only prayer of the sinner that God can hear and answer. The only prayer of sinner when God go feel hear is Lord have mercy on me miserable sinner. Be say God, may you sorry for me because me, I be great sinner. So if you come to him for salvation and he saves your soul. So if you come meet God for your salvation and he can't save your soul. Then you can then call on him for other things. By so doing, you know, you will ask God for other things. And he will hear. And he will hear you. So if you want to give your life to Jesus. So if you want to give your life to Jesus Christ. Come and stand before me. May you come stand before me. So we can pray for your salvation. So we will pray for your salvation. And then you can be part of the prayer. And you will be part of the prayer. That we will pray later on. Or we will come pray later. For the solution of all of our, our fruitfulness problems. For answer to everything concerning fruitfulness for our life. You want to surrender your life to Jesus? You want him to save your soul? You want to surrender your life to Jesus Christ? You want to make it save your soul? You want him to wipe away your sins? You want to make it wipe away your sin? So that you will be able to hear other prayers. So you go feel hear other prayers when you pray. Come now. Make you come now. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. The Bible does say the salary of sin, not death. And part of death is barrenness. And what part of death to na person when of he bump king? So if you come and he forgives your sins. So if you can't come and he can't forgive your sin, then. You can bring your womb back to life. You go feed them, bring your womb, make it come get life. Even as I pray. As I won't pray. Anyone else coming? Anybody come again? 
Okay, those of you who have come, talk to the Almighty God and ask Him to please have mercy on you. All of you now wonder, come, Mona, talk to Jesus Christ. Mona, tell us, make He get mercy on you. And save your soul. And make He come save your soul. Promise Him that from now on. And you can't promise and say from today on. You will serve Him. You will serve Him. Ask Him to wipe away your sins. Tell us, make He clean away your sins. So nothing will stand between you and your prayers so that nothing will feel constant before you and your prayers for victory for victory against Barene. against someone of a bomb picking so talk to him lord have mercy on me make you talk to jesus christ say god get mercy on me save my soul save my soul forgive all my sins forgive every sin when i don't commit and the rest of us let's stretch our hands towards these people and the rest of us most stretch our hands to these people and intercede for them for just one minute and more we can pray for them for one minute and pray that god who have mercy on them. Say, may God get mercy on them. And save their souls. And save their souls. And as we pray. And as we pray. Let cancel us, please. Hurry up. Cancel us, hurry up. Oh. And come and help me attend to them. Here. And may you call attend to them for this place. Let's pray for these people. May we pray for these people. Lord, have mercy on them. God, oh, get mercy on them. Forgive all their sins. Forgive all their sins. Cleanse them with your blood. Cleanse them with your precious blood. And Lord God Almighty. And Lord God Almighty. Give them a new beginning. Make you come give them a new beginning. Let's pray for them. Make you come pray for them. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Baba. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have pray. Savior, I want to thank you. Savior, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for your word. I want to thank you for your word. And I want to thank you for these people who have come forward. And I want to thank you for these people who have come forward. Please, receive them in Jesus' name. Please, oh, may you accept them in Jesus' name. Save their souls in Jesus' name. Thank you save their souls in Jesus' name. Let your blood wash them clean in Jesus' name. Make your precious blood wash them clean in Jesus' name. And please write their names in the book of life so that from now on, they will have a brand new beginning in Jesus' name. Make you write your name for the book of life so from now on, they will come get brand new beginning in Jesus' name. From now on, anytime they call on you, please answer them by fire. From now on, anytime they come call on you, I bet me you answer them by fire. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we all pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. And so I'm about to pray with you. I want to pray with you now, now. Before you begin your own prayers. I want to pray with you now. Before you now start on our own prayers. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. I know that you are the unchangeable Lord. I know so you be God when all they change. I know that whatever you have done before, you can do it again. I know so what you don't do before, you go feed them again. Please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. I beg make you accept our thanks in Jesus' name. I'm committing this your children to your hands. I will bring all this your children and come your hand. In this month of grace. For this month of grace. Be gracious unto them. Make you dare gracious to them. In this month of favor. For this month of favor. Let them find favor with you. May they see favor from you. In this month of mercy. For this month of mercy. Be merciful unto them. May you show mercy to them. In a moment they are going to cry unto you. Very soon they will go pray unto you. The grace to be victorious over barrenness. The grace will make person come overcome person one of the bomb picking. Release unto them. May you give them. Defeat the devil for them. Make you conquer the devil for them. Give them joy. Make you come give them joy. Don't let them know sorrow anymore. Make you not let them know what they call sorrow anymore. Let today be their day. Let today be their day. Open their wombs, Lord. Make you open their wombs. 
do what you alone can do. Make you do what you only you, God, go feed do. Father, before this time next month, let them be already rejoicing. Father, before this time next month, may the Lord start to be happy. Thank you, my Father and my God. Thank you, my Father and my God. And when the children you are giving them begin to come forth, let them be great children. When this picking one you don't give them, they're going to give birth to these children. May they become picking one get better head. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Now you will go to God now and ask him just one prayer. Now, now you will come go tell God one prayer. And say, Father. And you come to say, Father. Remember me. Remember me. Go ahead, talk to him. Me gonna go ahead, me talk to God. Just remember me, remember me, oh Lord. Father, just remember me, remember me, oh Lord. Please remember me. Please remember me. Remember me, oh Lord. Remember me, oh Lord. Remember me, oh Lord. Me, oh Lord. Me, oh Lord.